<laughs> so when you, I mean, you, you, you've been a part on a team before, yeah. and had, not, maybe not 79 up, but big scores like that, a couple of 63s, I think I saw. How do you, how do you, as a team, judge how good you are or what, how well you play going into that next week where maybe you have a tougher game? Um, it's all about, you know, restarting. And, um, you know, we have a 24-hour rule. You know, you you win a game and, you know, you celebrate on Saturday. But Sunday, you know, the, the page kind of resets and you move on to your next opponent. And, um, you know, no, no matter, you know, how, how big or, you know, margin we won by, it's always room for improvement. So, you know, you cut the tape on and, you know, you see the things that you need to work on. Find the weaknesses that, you know, your opponent may see, you know, on your team. And uh, you attack those things and work on them and get ready for the next week. I saw your family in the parking lot. Everybody had a There's No Place Like Home t-shirt on. Who came up with that? And is, is that accurate? That there's uh, no place like home. It's definitely accurate. And, uh, you know, my mom, she's, you know, the leader behind that all. Um, she makes sure that, you know, my family is here and all supportive. And, you know, that everything is everything, you know, when it comes to that side of things like that. So, you know, I definitely, you know, commend my mom for that. And uh, it's definitely greatly appreciated. This is Mason Miner. Listen to the Young Terps podcast on CapitalSportsBlog.com and TerpTalk.com, the number one rated Maryland sports podcast. Tough Based to on improve. that first, I'll take it. Thing. Based on the first game, did, do you think this defense has a chance to be really good, almost nationally ranked type of good? Uh, given, I mean, you can't really take a basis of the first game, but is this, you know, who's on it? Um, you know, I, I would even say that you know when we first, you know, got together. Um, the chemistry that, you know, that, you know, we have on defense and, you know, the type of guys that we have, man, we have the chance to be, you know, very special, um, you know, one of the best. And, um, you know, it all, it's all dependent on us. Uh, you know, we just got to put our minds to it. And, you know, if we do that, we can do anything, you know, we want to as a defense. Tough to improve a day where you guys allow under 100 yards, the dominance last Saturday, but where do you feel this defense can make strides? Where do you guys feel you need to make strides heading into Syracuse? Um, you know, great game, but like I said, it's always room for improvement. And uh, I would say the number one thing, you know, that we have to do as a defense is communicate more. Um, once we get, you know, our communication down and we we're able to, you know, talk, you know, through plays, before plays, after plays, you know, and even on the sideline, um, you know, we'll be, you know, just that much better and we'll be able to, you know, take that next step as defense. You play with, you know, Andre Cisco in high school. He's, you know, ranked as, you know, one of the best defensive backs in the country. Where kind of some of the strengths of his game that, you know, the offense is really going to have to look out for this week? Uh, you know, he's a, he's a ball hawk. You know, he's just going to have to, he's a guy that you're going to have to, uh, you know, definitely key out, you know, and um, he can trick you, you know, make you think he's in one spot and be in another spot. Uh, so he's definitely going to be a guy that's definitely, uh, you know, going to be a key, you know, in watching this week. What have you seen from uh, Ian Ely from the time you got here till till now, you know, where is his, where where is he really improved? Where the strengths are in, in the position he's playing? Um, he's definitely since I've got here, he's uh, emerged more as a leader. Um, he's probably one of the excuse me the uh, the most vocal guys we have on defense, and um, he's always he's one of them guys who he, he always comes to me. He's always in my ear asking, you know. The defense that we played at Clemson, you know, we were so successful and, you know, we were, how do we, you know, reload every week and how do we, you know, become so successful? He wants to know, you know, all of those small tips and basically, you know, things that he and I both can do to make, you know, this defense better every week. So he's a guy that he always wants to learn. He always wants to get better. And he always wants to know, you know, what he can do to help make his team better. So definitely one of the things I commend him on. Syracuse comes into the season with, uh, you know, reputation being a potentially explosive team. They scored 24 points last Saturday. What did, did you guys see on tape? What jumped out at you about this orange offense? Um, I mean, coming from a, you know, a program where I played against those guys for the past, you know, three years, I can, you know, I can say that, you know, this is definitely going to be one of the, you know, the best offenses, you know, that we face, the best offenses in the country, you know, in Syracuse. And, um, their, their tempo is, you know, is unmatched. Um, you know, I can say preparing for them, you know, in the past, I can just think back and remember, you know, that was a very stressful week at practice. Um, you know, just trying to, you know, uh, build, you know, momentum in practice and try to match that tempo, you know, in the game, like simulation, you know, every day in practice because, uh, you know, they always say, you know, you can't, you can't really create that in the game, but we try to, I mean, in practice, but we try to do that as much as we can. And, um, you know, just watching them so far on film, you know, that, 
they, you know, nothing much has changed. They have, you know, a lot of explosive players on offense, uh, very dynamic, and um, they can stretch the field. You know, you know, we're going to have to definitely play at a high level, you know, coming this Saturday with a lot of communication. I would refer Jack Litch Law Group to anyone that I know because of their professional touch and they get the job done. They get it done timely and they do it right. As you just saw, our clients have trusted us. We need to reward that trust and we have with great results and great service. So call the big dogs right now, don't wait. Find us online at bigdogssmallfirm.com.